Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4, Mario Nostrum Expansion. We are making the Hansa Great again, playing as the Lubeck, and currently we are in a war to try to take a bunch of Scottish territory. We're going to be a little bit, um, the, the tough part will be the aggressive expansion we generate from this, but we're going to we're gonna figure that out as we go. And we are also, as uh, Sweden was allied to, St uh, to Scotland, we're not planning on taking anything from Sweden, we're just planning on humiliating them and taking all their money as much as possible. Because they are my rival. England has now rivaled us. Okay. Now, we haven't rivaled them. We have to wait for one of our people to no longer be a valid rival before we can rival them back. I probably should just go, like, 40 years without doing a single goddamn thing. Because I am, uh, really hitting some limits here. Uh, yeah, let me pull back this way. Maybe Sweden will attack me in one of our two places here. And that wouldn't be too bad. Ideally here for the woods. That's not a 34k stack, it's deceptive, um, because Brandenburg is following there. Brandenburg's not actually in the war against me. They are in the war against Muscovy over here, so Muscovy's about to get a little squooshed. Um, I don't want to lose Prestige, because Prestige is giving us a slight discount to aggressive expansion, as well as better relations over time. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and sack, that's our level 3 advisor, who's bringing down inflation. And I think I still want a level 3 admin advisor, even though I am ahead of time here. I'm not that far ahead. Let's see. You know, I, the missionary strength guy will be handy because we actually do have to convert a couple of Catholic provinces in uh, in England. Lothian being part of England as well. Well, it was more recently. It's already reformed. Oh, cool. Uh, wait, is Scotland reformed? Oh, they are. Ooh. But yeah, I took a Lothian from England, who of course took it from Scotland. Alright, one that siege, excellent. What I'm wondering is, what's, what's, okay, that's just grassland. And there's no river crossing from here. No. So as soon as this battle ends, now, Sweden's going to win, so their morale's still going to be quite high. But they will have still taken some damage, their troops won't be at full strength. I think we just jump on them. In fact, it's tempting. No, we're not going to do that. But as I say, it would be tempting to be in that province first. So, yeah, and that's a deceptive number, because that includes Brandenburg's troops. They don't actually have that much. Oh, they're moving into the forest. Yeah, but I'm not going to not gonna jump on them with this small mismatch stack. I'm gonna move everyone to Stockholm and then see where we go from there. Oh, I can still catch them. Okay, so I, I have a bigger number than is shown, but again, uh, how much of this Brandenburg? About 11k. So they really have 20,000 troops here. We'd be attacking into the grassland with no river crossing. I like it. I'll do a consolidate here. I don't think it's going to cut back on any regiments, but at least organize them a bit better. Yay, religious conversions. I'm going to grab half this and put you here. That way, when we do eject the troops or the ships from Stockholm, we'll be able to sink them slash capture them very well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, ideally, we want to crush their um, their morale as quickly as possible, I think, rather than sink the ships. That way, we capture more. I think capture is when they run out of morale. Uh, all right, here, we still don't have anyone with siege bonus, so we're just going to bring down a bit of a... There you go. Sort of token front line there. Remaining army is just going to back up to here to reduce... Oh! How come he still shows a can? Do you have, like... Is it just me, or is it... It looks like there's an extra cannon. Oh, there, it's just a visual glitch because I still had it selected. All right, fair enough. Get you stand back over there just to reduce attrition, and we're just going to hang around. Uh, we are going to take the option to gain Republican tradition right now, investing into our future, and I'm quite happy with that. All right. Da, 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 da. That was the naval attack over here. That wasn't a real one. It was just a single ship that got popped out there. And other than that, we're just going to sit back and chill. Actually, I guess I could go and just quickly capture that and eject them. I don't want to move too far away from my actual siege in Stockholm, because it's not the strongest army composition. Very weak front line. It's got a token front line, so it can survive for a few ticks of combat while reinforcements come in. That's all I'm looking for. But yeah, if we can just pop out some more ships, why not? I'm assuming Sweden's... No, they're still high enthusiasm. Really? Length of war, yeah, fair enough. Occupied. Oh, just dropped a little bit. Mm-hmm. There we go, and then we'll sink that ship. And just hang out. Well, there's no fort adjacent to this, so I guess we can go and claim this province. This is not going to get recaptured, so we may as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
They are coming back, so let's actually... Well, this would be fine, actually. They probably aren't going to attack me in the woods, and if they did, I'd be okay with that. Would mean lifting the Siege of Stockholm, but most likely if they're attacking anywhere, they're going to be attacking over here. And I'm okay with that. Again, we don't get a defensive bonus. We also don't have a leader in the stack right now. But we'll be able to engage with um, pretty good numbers. And I'm, I'm willing to take this engagement. So I'm just waiting until they, they get a skull or they get the lock, and we will move in. So these guys will have to defend themselves for a little bit. It is going to take some damage. I'm actually really worried about the cannons taking some hits here, because they are squishy. And in fact, uh, I think we actually had... Yeah, we have some cannons in the front row. Very bad! Come on, reinforce faster. There we go. And I may, maybe should have just left some more dudes there. I was, you know, trying to be good and, and reduce in, um, attrition as much as possible, but I may have been a little too... A little too little something there. Because, uh, yeah, we definitely took some damage to our cannons. Whew, and how. Um, do I want to leave everyone? You know what? At this point, maybe we will just leave everyone. That'll be okay. Because I could split off a little thing, but we don't really have enough of something. Uh, Lubeck gains a claim on Ayrshire. We can make Scotland like us more. I guess we'll take the claim on Ayrshire, actually because I think this will give us less aggressive expansion. If we're taking something with a claim, or does it not matter? Um, I don't remember with the CB if it's just on the one province or not. I guess the question is, what would this look like now? France only at minus 55. I mean, some of our aggressive expansion burned off, but it might have helped. See, I don't know, like, now that the war has been declared for something else, if it makes a difference. It would still give you a discount on coring, of course. Do, do, do. Still have a lot of dudes here, but it's just as a backup, just in case something weird happens with these straits. Sweden! Uh, okay. The DAC War. It was a well-off farmer from Smoland who got so fed up with the centralism, high taxes, and confiscation of church property that he led the old border county in open revolt. Thousands of peasants have, with improvised weapons, marched across the border into uh, Ostergotland. Here. Uh, initially, the peasants were successful. When the king brought in German mercenaries, their fortunes quickly reversed. In the force of Smolin, Niles, or Neil, I don't know, Niles, Daka, is still regarded as a hero of the common folk. So you've gone and desieged some stuff. This is not... Oh, that was a fort. You instantly desieged a fort. Well, at least you'll keep Sweden a little bit busy over here. Looks like Ber uh, Brandenburg will go and defeat that stack. Oh, right, and we get to pick our mission here. Improve relations with Hamburg. This more Diplo rep. Prove our prestige. Actually, we are probably going to get some prestige from this. We don't have any prestige boosters right now. Would be quite nice. I'll take the improve the prestige mission. That's going to be fine. We'll probably hit it at some point when we're not paying attention, and that's all right. Okay, siege, siege of Stockholm is going fine. So I don't know if this was triggered or if it was a looming disaster or like what caused that to happen. I guess it's not that disastrous. It's only a handful of rebels. It's a little bit annoying for me, but it doesn't matter that much. It is annoying that it, they instantly captured a fortress. Not gonna lie. That's actually very frustrating. So it's interesting, you've got Gotland here, then you've got Eastern Gotland and Western Gotland. Gotland? I think it's more like Gotland. Is that actually the word goat? That, I don't know. All right, Stockholm, gone. These ships will get ejected and we'll sink them. Um, I'd rather not have to deal. I'd rather not have to clean up their, their rebels. Mm -hmm. Now, this is attacking to the woods. We'd have a 2 to 1 advantage. They have a better leader, and we're attacking the woods. We still have the higher tech, which is going to help a little bit. Do I want to take that engagement? Yeah, I think 2 to 1 is going to... Uh, I'm actually not sure. And, actually, I think we'll get a river crossing as well. No, no river crossing. Why don't we just head down there? And let's just get a big pile of mercs. They recruit very quickly. And we'll just throw a big number of people at the Sweden Swedish army. Uh, from here, would there be a river crossing? No, not into here into both of these, but... So this river that crosses Smoland here doesn't really seem to do anything. Oh, here in Holland. That's it. Okay. 
I mean, so infantry is not that potent, obviously, right? But they're going to accept the fact that we are... So we're obviously going to be at a militaristic disadvantage, other than sheer number. So they're going to be there just to soak the damage from the fact that we're attacking a better general in the woods. Better general. Worse army! Uh... Okay. That's a bit annoying. I'd rather have my, my rebels here, or my military already. So I'm going to leave it aside for now. We're going to grab another diplomatic candidate. That was a death, actually, because we didn't get a chance to re-elect them. And now Republican tradition is getting quite high. Probably, I may have re-elected this guy as is. Um, but I couldn't because he died, so now we won't. So we'll probably re-elect whoever we've gotten now. Alright, let's go. This should be fine. Maybe. I hope. As long as we don't get completely screwed with the die rolls. There we go. And I mean, we had we took some rough morale losses at first, but the fact that we have more people should be kicking in right around now. Because their front lines should be getting weaker and weaker and weaker. They have a lot of cannons. But yeah, they don't have enough of the front line anymore. They actually had a cannon in the front for a second. There's another cannon and another. So they're just going to disintegrate now. Good. Now, I wonder if I can get here in time. Probably not. It's the second time they've risen up in Lundberg specifically. Which is annoying. Um... Yeah, you got. You don't have a ton of manpower, but I won't do a consolidate. I mean, I consolidated the mercs just in case it would come up. But so we're gonna try to take these. We're attacking into the woods, but it's just gonna be 19k. They're not gonna be as strong as Sweden, so that's okay. Sorry, Scotland, no peace yet. I got work to do. And we're there, which means when they rise up, they will have the forest bone penalty because we were there first. Yeah, a little bit gamey, but that's okay. You gotta make gamey decisions from time to time. Excellent. And you know what? I, I will go ahead and detach and consolidate all the infantry now. That's okay. Then we'll have to go and re-siege this. Actually, here's a question. How much uh, war score do we have with Sweden? Probably not enough. Humiliate? Well, that's not bad. Um, We probably want to null all their treaties, too. So, yeah, okay. We'll have to do more. Humiliate on all treaties and take a bunch of money. All that would be exceptionally good for us. Mm -hmm. They're still being eaten in the east. Yep. Well, I don't... Musco, Muscovy hasn't really progressed too far. They've got some stuff to do here. Okay, they're taking some Polish territory. Oh, I didn't realize Poland had taken a bunch of Galician stuff. Ooh. I wonder if Muscovy... That's quite far from Muscovy. I suspect they won't actually want to take that from Poland. They might force them to give something away, depending on if they separate peace or not, or how things go. Um, that is a lot of attrition. I, I will agree with you there, Stack. Um, leave the cannons. Leave that. Take this. Go here. Yay, conversions. Are we done all the corn? Did we get, uh, did we get Fife? Or Lothian. Oh, we're not coring it because we're at War Scotland and they have a core on it. Right. Denmark left the coalition against us. Nice. They'll, they'll rejoin as soon as we take anything from Scotland. But that's okay. Still actually a good sign right now. What else is in the coalition right now? All right, Tyrone and Wales, which is fine. Who cares about that? Uh, they're probably going to sit and try to retake Stockholm. Now, without a blockade... Actually, they might do okay. Oh, you know what I need here? Is I need... Actually, I'm going to go for three can... Oh, one cannon. I'm happy I consolidated now. Because at least they'll give us a plus one to those rolls. Um, I'm... Oh, my ruler... Yes, you got Siege Pip! Excellent! Let's transfer you over here. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Double Siege Pip, in fact, is very nice. I'm going to shorten those Siege Timers. Excellent. So we want to take this back, and then we want to stop them from unseaging Stockholm. They're actually making some good progress over there, which is a bit annoying. There we go. Perfect. So this is just a grassland, and again, they don't actually have 30,000 troops there. Oh, their uh, dig war ended. Need more Dukkha. So we're going to go and should be able to do this. They won't have a defensive bonus. We have a huge numbers advantage. They have a really good general still. Um, but they're still on only on tech level 12, which is good, because they actually had a lot of cannons that other war. If their cannons had been better, like mine, it would have been a little bit scary. So let's take a look at the fort map mode over here. So next target will likely be Ancrus. Oh, 
Oh! We went straight from fighting them into fighting some rebels. A bit annoying, on the other hand, we wouldn't need... It's a good thing the rebels popped now, not while we were far away, which would have been a bit frustrating. I'm going to consolidate my infantry again. And move to here. It's only fort level 2, which is nice. Still building a cannon somewhere. We can get it to throw in and help out. Uh, how are we looking now with Sweden? 60%. So, humiliated, annul treaties with Poland and Brandenburg. Um, I could get you to revoke a core in my territory. I suppose we may as well. Okay, not willing. And yeah, I don't care about returning cores. Annul all the treaties, revoke the one core you have on me, and I still need to ask for war reparations and all your money. So we do need more war score. But I don't think there's anything that's going to stop us from doing that. And we're not in a hurry. We want to wait before we peace out Scotland anyway, because, again, the aggressive expansion, we're trying to get that to wear off. So we're not doing anything with Sweden that's going to give us aggressive expansion. Mm -hmm. But it's still going to be really helpful for us. Oh, there's my extra cannon. You go over there. So now we're officially out of manpower. We've got lots of sailors. I wonder, like... You know, why is it that sailors aren't a problem for me? Are they never going to be a problem for people? Is it going to come down to different ways of playing? That's going to be really annoying if it desieges that because it's the war goal. Although Tyrone just went and smashed a stack of rebels, so thank you very much for that. Whales are having religious disorder. Okay, that's fine. This siege is going quite quickly. I think they're going back to Stockholm again. We're obviously going to finish this siege first, which might give us the war score that we need to get what we want. All right, renounce claims, be humiliated, and all the treaties. Add the war operations. Okay. Oh, there we go. That will work out for me. So you're going to renounce this claim, which is fine. Uh, you're going to give me 10% of your income. You'll be humiliated. You'll know all your treaties with everyone. And you'll give me some money. All right, sounds good. And they're only negotiating on it for themselves. Send demands. So our... Power projection is going to go from 39 to 58. Wait, what? Oh, were we getting some power projection because we were in a war with someone? It was 39, right? I wasn't thinking something else. Because I would have thought it would be higher. But I must have had power projection from being at war with them or some damn thing. I don't know. Uh, so that's okay. So let me... We're going to pull back to friendly territory. I'm going to grab all my ships together. Because I don't know where all my transports have never necessarily gotten. I'm going to get you there, and then we're going to ferry you over to Scottish territory. Luckily, it's really nice, actually, that Ayrshire, which was uh, doesn't have a fort, those rebels went away. These guys are going to siege that fort. Not that it would take very long to retake it anyway, but it's still nice and convenient. War exhaustion is high. I don't think I'm going to bother buying it down, though. Although, are we worried about this? Not really, because we're going to be over there. English, Northumbrian, yeah, we're all going to be here to smash some rebels. we got a pretty good army for that. Lost some CBs, that's okay. We're actually exactly at our military force limit. Still slightly above for our naval, but that's that's fine. Get everyone together in one place. Nothing to upgrade. Move the galleys to there. Move the heavy to there. They're both going to get mothballed. I'm going to keep this fleet together just temporarily. I don't really need to escort these guys, but who knows? Maybe Scotland's got something weird going on somewhere. I don't I don't think that's possible, but just to make sure. Uh, and you guys can all be mothballed. Mm, you're going to go there. I guess I may as well do a consolidate. I, actually, I can get rid of the... Uh, no, I need the Merc still to have a relatively smart front line. And I'm going to drop you here. And we'll have to ferry over the next group as well. So I'm just going to hold off until I get an actual call for peace from Scotland. Wait as long as possible to burn off as much aggressive expansion as possible. I guess I could literally land right on top of these guys. What's my comp? Actually, fine. Okay, land right on top of these guys in the interest of speed. That Hopefully I don't have to re-siege this. Come on. Land already. I mean, I guess I can go up in speed. Then I, I'll miss things. So that's okay. And then I'm going to move these guys this way. I realize it's not going to be as fast as using the docking tools. But that way I don't have to worry. And I do want all my troops over here because we're going to get more rebels. And I'm going to let them pop. It's fine. Um, there we go. We can sit here. 
I mean, I guess this will slow down some of the popping. No, they're going to pop regardless. This is... Actually, farmland is fine. I want them to prevent them from popping in the marsh. Or be in the marsh before they pop. Either way. Anyway. Yeah, you complete your move there. And I'm going to get you to land here. Lovely! Okay, no call for peace yet. Lots of rebel uprising threats, but that's okay. When the war start? 58, right? So we're about to hit a 5 year. And then it'll go to 100%. Oh, there's the call for peace right now so let's go ahead and take a look where the hell is this do they have territory overseas <gasps> i think they do well then we might really want to vassalize them all right as is france would be at exactly minus 50 i could just wait maybe another month or two that'll give them an extra tick and then they'll stop but also if i just vassalize them that generates, it's actually going to generate slightly more. What, because of the extra province? Weird. But at this point, I'm wondering about vassalizing them because I feel like they're probably, they probably have some overseas stuff. And over time, we could suck up to them enough to get their maps. What ideas did they take? See, they took exploration. So they know about things. Do I automatically get their information right away if I vassalize them? I have no idea. It, they should. They should share their maps with me. I doubt that they will. I mean... If they're my vassal, it means I can get the plus 200 sucking up from them, although there's going to be a lot of aggressive expansion. I guess I'm going to wait for a while here. Accepting the fact that I'm going to get some call for peace building up. So let me go and dump a little bit of war exhaustion. Well, the call for peace is quite, starts off very little. Very little war exhaustion being added. But the amount that it adds is going to go up every month. And that's going to just combo together to end up with really high war exhaustion. But we can sit and wait for a bit. Claims, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just wait a wee bit longer. I just don't want France to join in. Because if France joins in, a lot of people will join in, and no one will be willing to leave. It's going to be really annoying. But if I just wait long enough for France to not be in there... There we go, like that. So some people might still join. In fact, I do expect them to join. But they're not going to be as scary, and neither France nor Sweden will be in on this. Well, Sweden... Actually, that's quite interesting. You really don't care. I mean, I'm sure they're going to get some aggressive expansion, but I'm actually quite surprised it's not high enough. But I guess they're far enough away, and they're not allied anymore. All right, so you're going to become my vassal, and I, could, I should just leave you with your money. Can I, like... Can you ask for maps in war? That would be really nice. I'm not going to release Inverness. Um... Actually, what will help our relationship? Oh! Oh! Okay, no. I'm getting confused. What will help our relationship is if none of my territory has one of your cores on it. That's going to help our relationship a lot. I suppose I could feed this stuff back to you. What's the point, though? I've already cored it. I only territory cored it. I mean, for now, it's fine. I'll let you do that. Now I'll let you save your money. Okay. Did I get your maps? No. How much do you hate me? Well, not as much as I was afraid of, if I'm going to be completely honest. Oh, I could have sent the spy over to France, too. That would have uh, generated less aggressive expansion. That would have been something to consider. But for now, I'm okay. I'm going to keep my troops here to deal with the rebellion. Um, and you're fully reinforced. I'm going to get rid of, like, half of these Merc infantry. And then build a little bit more normal infantry. Okay, and then my light ships here. Split you in half. You go to Lubeck. And you go to the Baltic. I'm going to have to reevaluate if, you know, that's still the way to go. But for now, I'm still okay with that. We get more power in the North Sea than we did before. We could send some dudes over here, too. We'll reevaluate after we're not... Well, I guess we're not overextended. Uh, no, we still have Lothian. That's true. Which, hold on. Because I hadn't cored this, Scotland still has a core on this. So they're still going to hate me because of that. Why not? I'm going to cancel coring. One of the things that merchant republics have that um, regular nations don't have is, as a merchant republic, my vassal gives me half their trade power. So I'm going to give you a province. 
I mean, I can give you a bunch of stuff, apparently. But right now, if I take a look at your Diplo view... Yeah, let's do that. Um, bah, bah, bah. Grant Province. I'm going to give you Lothian. It's going to decrease your Liberty Desire by a bit. It does make you a bit bigger, but I think our relative power is going to be fine. Um, and we will start improving relations with you as well. There you go. Slightly less rebellion risk for me. Plus, it was a high autonomy province. Like, I'm really not losing anything from doing that. Press share maps. Disloyal. Bad opinion. Oh, and a vassal. Wait, really? How is there a minus thousand for a vassal? So, this, my vassal is really not willing to give me their maps. That, that seems crazy. Why wouldn't my vassal give me my god their goddamn maps? Will I see things as they claim more territory? I mean, here they have territory abroad. Oh, it's down there. That's where it is. I guess I could have done a search. Well, okay. So maybe they don't have information up here. Maybe I do have their maps, and it just happens to be down here. Still, I'm okay with this. I think this is fine. I'm wondering if I should have made a move towards a vassalized Scotland earlier. Nah, I don't know. I'm okay with this. So they are sucking up some of my uh, Diplo points. I'm going to go ahead and put my focus over here right now. And we're still not ahead of time on Diplo, and we are going to take those exploration ideas, because apparently... Um, corruption is hard to bring down. But I don't want to lose the stability. I don't know. Maybe that was dumb. No idea. Any other rebellion risk? Where do we got? Northumbria. Is it here? Yes. So we'll just hang out here for now. And leave the transport there. That's okay. And you guys are docked there. And you guys are patrolling. We're at 75% in Lubeck. Which I think is pretty good. We'll leave that one fleet there. How's our naval force limit? Okay. Manpower. We're not manpower limit army force limit. We could build some more dudes, but I'll probably wait until we get manpower and build regular dudes there. Probably try to bring ourselves up to 10 artillery as well, because we our artillery has started to got, get better. Uh, we got some extra actual just numerical bonuses to it and more pips from having a new type of unit, so we'll likely do that. We still have tons of cash. Actually, an in, interesting question is, do we leave Scotland as a vassal? and or turn them into a march. So I've talked about that before over here. But I think I was mostly talking about that back when, um, back when I, I thought there was a hard 20 province limit, or there was a hard 20 province limit. Now it's 20 state province limits. So we could annex these guys. We could also, this is a claim here. Do you have a claim anywhere else? Well, no, you didn't, but it'd be nice if you fabricated more. Because we could always just feed you and have you continue to grow and just keep you as a march over here. But I think in the end... I'm actually wondering if we get more trade power of these guys by having them be our vassal. No, we get slightly more trade power from controlling the territory ourselves, even as a territory. We get slightly more than 50%, but... Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, corruption. So, I think they also changed the cost to root out corruption, did they not? We'll pay up to 100% of our income to combat corruption. Well, it's not true. It's based. It's supposed to be based on development. This is clearly... Like, 12 is not 100% of my income. This will reduce it after three years. I think they did change the math. They may not have changed the wording. I'm going to put this at 100% for now and try to burn this off a little bit faster. We're just effectively turning money into more PowerPoints, which seems like a pretty good trade considering how rich we are. Any cool buildings I want to build? Yeah, we're not going to get much out of that. I mean, I suppose we could build it and give it to Scotland. Um, oh, yeah. I think we're going to go ahead and get the rest of the naval equipment manufacturers over here. Sure. There we go. We don't have, like, trading in anything, do we? Trading in naval supplies, yes. Um, you need 20% for that. If we could get up to 50%, there's another bonus. I think there's another bonus at 50, or there, there's some other number. Um, trading in fish. Oh, that's about to go away. Brandenburg, Spy Network. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Hey, man, as long as the coalition stays manageable, 
Now, I expect England will join the coalition as soon as they get an opportunity to do so. That's not really... Yeah. But France at 45, Sweden's at 45. That's fine. Any other coalition, that's going to be okay. I do expect them to join in because they'll hate me a lot. Um, there's technically a coalition already going on. And once England joins in, we might get some other people to join in. It'd be nice... Do we have a truce tonic order? No. It'd be nice if these guys drop below 50% before the tro coalition was uh, really getting into gear. Because it might be a little bit annoying to have them in there. And once they're in, they'll stay in until it drops to almost zero. England is fabricating some stuff. Yada, yada, yada. We still have the one risk of rebellion there. Although it's such a small chance now. It's basically not going to pop. Uh, yeah, I'll get the extra couple of cannons there. Because 10 is what I want. That'll give us the maximum siege speed on level 2 forts. Which is great. That is our admin tech. And I'm going to have to decide here. No, I can wait. Because it might be worth paying ahead of time if I want to rush the ideas. But I don't have enough diplo power bank. What I might want to do is just wait until I'm either about to become capped on admin power. Or I hit somewhere like 800 diplo power or something like that. And then we pull the trigger take the idea group instantly pop the first couple because we need because level one actually still helps now that i think about it level one gives us the first colonist and we can colonize greenland which i will do terra incognita i wonder um it'd be nice if you could tell the distance I mean, we can see some stuff over here, and we can almost reach there. Yeah, we really don't need the extra range. Oh, sorry. We don't need the extra range, and we see just enough that we aren't going to need explorers either. Because over time, more and more of this will be revealed. I'm actually thinking that we are going to grab expansion ideas instead. Because expansion ideas are strictly better for us than exploration ideas. Although, I gotta say, that 25 naval force limit is pretty goddamn good. Although this is the 20% global trade power. Cheaper state maintenance, which doesn't really affect us. It's funny, between uh, administrative ideas and expansion ideas, it's really good for a big nation with lots of states, which you don't really have. The plus one diplo relations would actually be really handy, considering we don't have any diplo relations right now. Like, we're down to three because of the Merchant League. Well, I'm going to put a cut in here. I'm going to give it a little bit of a think. <clears throat> we don't have a lot of vision in North America. But we do have enough. I mean, if we went and got exploration ideas and got to level 3, I'd be able to skip Greenland completely. But I can't get to level 3 instantly. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll wrap this up here. We'll see how it goes. I guess one of the advantages of still going exploration is when I do take when I do unlock the idea group, I should have a bunch of Diplo power banked. It's also a wee bit annoying that I don't have my focus on admin. And I can't change it for a while. That's actually really annoying. Um, I think what we might do... Because we're about to get an election here. Yeah. We're about to get an election. And what I think I'll do is I'll go and grab an admin dude. Because it'll be the fastest way to get more admin points. Yeah, I like that. But for now, we'll put in a cut. Thanks for watching, folks. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.